I've been working as a software developer for almost two years now and I'm thinking of taking the next step in my career and going for a mid-level developer role, which means I'm going to be applying for jobs and relearning how to interview. So I thought I'd share how I plan to rebuild my interview skills and also prepare for the next level. But first I'll give you a overview of where I am at right now. My current tech stack is Laravel PHP, more backend leaning kind of role. Uh, I have worked a little bit on Next.js and React when I'm doing front end work, but I'm definitely stronger at back end and I also prefer it more. Which means I'm kind of looking for a job that is more back end leaning, but technically I am a full stack developer, so I'm open to that. I'm also open to working on any other modern tech stack. Uh, it doesn't have to be Laravel. The job I'm looking for will have to be remote or hybrid with the maximum days in the office twice a week. And that's because I just like working at home. I don't mind going into the office currently. It's just I would rather, I could do it maybe once every two weeks and be happy with that too. So yeah, I'm leaning towards more remote roles and I wouldn't take anything that is more than two days a week in the office. And important things about the job in general is I want it to be a kind of a, like a modern feeling company. I don't want them to feel like a backward, like I, I don't want somewhere where I can't learn stuff from and like if they're not using or integrating AI and stuff into their work, I feel like that's already a step behind my current company. So that would kind of be a question I'd need to ask them or I'd need to see on the job descriptions. One thing I feel like is missing from my current lol, current lol? Cu current role is learning opportunities. We do have some time we can spend for personal development, which is great, but I feel like they, like, I don't get offered opportunities to take. They don't give us kind of like study support of any kind, or if like, if we want to pursue our own certifications or, you know, like, I don't know, learn about stuff. For example, I want to do, uh, like start learning about cloud. Uh, like AWS and stuff like that if they you know encourage that I wanted to pay for your certifications or you know things like that I really value like learning opportunities so that would be something I'm looking for or even just kind of a learning environment where it's just basically encouraged and of course they have to have like decent benefits and you know like holidays or whatever and not lie about having a bonus so with that out the way which is the things that i'm looking for i i'm mostly relearning to interview because obviously i am at a different level to when i was applying for junior roles or entry level roles i basically didn't know anything back then so i need to kind of basically learn how to present my current level of knowledge in a better way. The first kind of section of my preparation would be me kind of building or kind of sharpening some tech skills that I think would help me have things to talk about more confidently in interviews and also probably answer technical questions because there are some things, for example, I want to sharpen up my SQL skills. I've used that throughout my current role, but I feel like I want to kind of sharpen up on query optimization and kind of be able to answer questions as to why to use this way rather than this way. And I don't think that I would be able to do that at the moment. So for that, I am actually following a YouTube kind of not tutorial but kind of a YouTube course uh, which I've started and I'm finding really engaging and helpful to learn about this and I think it probably would help to do some kind of practical actually querying real databases or something like that so I'll probably find something online where I can do that. The second thing that I will be kind of learning from scratch is AWS cloud basic stuff because I've kind of touched on it in my role but 
not really is I guess more seen as a DevOps kind of role covers that but I think it's really valuable from what I've seen from loads of job descriptions as well to have some AWS knowledge or cloud just general cloud knowledge and so I will be studying that in my spare time I found I think it's a free code camp uh, course on YouTube which I'll be following and it's the baseline knowledge you need to know to pass the cloud practitioner exam. Whether I sit that, I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna, you know, study the content. And that kind of feels like it would give me a bit of an edge. And the final thing that I would like to brush up on is system design. As part of my role, I've not really had the opportunity to kind of design a system or kind of contribute to that much. I know we have solution architects and they kind of come up with the system, but I would like to be able to come up with it myself or at least have some understanding of why things are done a certain way. And I've been I've been seeing this guy on Instagram. He's called RJ the Dev and he has a lot of really useful videos. Um, that I started watching where it's like interview questions on how would you build a system that does xyz and it's really interesting to see the answer and I would like to learn more about that so that is also something I will be sharpening. Okay so they're all the tech skills that I want to sharpen it sounds like a lot but this is gonna be kind of ongoing I'm still gonna apply for jobs I'm not waiting around for me to complete that because that would probably take too long but as long as I'm ongoingly working on it uh, it should be fine also I've have rewritten my CV and I continuously tweak and change it but I need to be well versed into in what I've written on there and be able to explain any features that I've mentioned I've worked on so that would kind of be preparing for questions about oh tell me about this feature you built uh, how did you go about it I should be confident and comfortable talking about it I did some research on mid-level developer interview questions and some of the things that came up that I saw was you know answering questions like what was a bug that you came across and how did you solve it and then when I sit there and try and think on the top of my head, I've obviously worked on books before, but nothing kind of stands out immediately. So I'd need to kind of prepare that in advance um, and actually have a think about it and kind of structure my answers. Not too, you know, rigidly structured like, you know, PEE. -E. I'm just gonna kind of think about it and then like have the bullet points and then I can explain it myself. And I guess that includes getting better at technical storytelling. So being able to uh, explain the journey of something technical uh, that I've worked on. Okay, so that is the CV questioning part. Then the final thing I probably would say is just the core technical concepts and being 100% fluid on being able to talk about that. Being able to explain solid principles, kind of definition based things and also being able to talk about why it's important, um, OOP and also framework specific questions. So any questions directly relating to Laravel, especially if it's a job which is Laravel and they'll probably be interesting, interested to know my the depth of my knowledge of Laravel. Also mentioned that I use Docker on my CV. Um, I kind of, I understand how Docker works. I just, I just would have to kind of Google questions that they could ask about Docker. Maybe, I mean, if they said explain Docker to a new developer, I'd be able to do it because <laughs> I've done it in a video. But um, yeah, I probably could deepen my knowledge of Docker maybe, or just, yeah, Google some questions about what they could ask. And then also something like, why would someone use SQL over NoSQL database? This was actually a question in my interview for the current job I have. 
I think I mentioned that I'd used MongoDB in a project and I, I had no idea <laughs> what the difference is between SQL and NoSQL and obviously MongoDB is NoSQL and yeah it was kind of a follow-up question because I had mentioned that uh, but yeah I would like to be able to fluently answer that now but anyway yeah this is basically my interview plan so first section would be brushing up on my tech skills, second would be being fluent in my CV and being able to explain and structure answers off the back of that and then thirdly just brushing up on the core technical concepts and being able to talk about that and maybe even relate it to my work and of course I'll be sharing my journey on applying for jobs and how each interview went and what I've learned along the way so if you're interested in that and if you're in a similar position it might be helpful for you I did do this for my current job as a junior or entry-level developer um, so if you're at that point and you kind of want to know what kind of questions they ask me go check out those videos because that will probably be useful because every time you do an interview you learn so much more and then you just get better and better but yeah hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time